Hey everybody, it's Miss McGaw from Harp Elementary. I know we've been having some students not understand how to get on Google Classroom, like their teacher has maybe asked them to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. The best way for our students that I have taught them to get to any of our school pages is to go to our actual school page which is harp.sl.org. Here is where you can find all kinds of information along with all your student stuff. A lot of our students, once they get here, especially our little ones, they know what to do. So they can go under students, and then you can go to your student's grade. This is, each page is different based off of what that grade does. So these have all the different websites that they may use. <laughs> we are going to Google Classroom. And it's gonna ask them to sign in with their email. Their email address is going to be their username at estelle.org. I can get it typed out. This is the part that our students often forget. They will put just their username, and when they click next, it works. However, it puts at gmail.com, and then their password will not work. To do the at sign, the student is to hold shift and then press the number two at the top of the screen. They do not have to hold the number two because otherwise it will put a whole bunch of them. Their usernames consist of their initials and then the second half of their student ID number. They know this as their username, or they might know it as their initial numbers, or they might even know it as the blue box, because it's in a blue box in their computer lab folder. So that's what they're used to seeing. You click next. Here they can type in their password. Bring those passwords, includes the child's birthday, along with some others. Once again, your student should know how to do this. If not, you may contact me or their teacher to get their password. So once they get logged in, um, a lot of our classrooms already use Google Classroom, so they might have several classes already added. So they will be set to go. If you have a teacher or someone saying you need to add a class, they can click this plus sign, and that teacher has probably gave you a class code. This is where you can type it in. It is not cap sensitive and click join. And it will bring you right to that class. I made just a test classroom for the video. But they can click here, go back to classes, and you can see all their different classes. I hope this helped. Hope everyone's staying healthy. See you when school starts.